Bonjour, it's Denisha and welcome back to another painting video. Oh, actually, <laughs> this is not gonna be a painting video. This is actually gonna be a drawing video. Okay, jokes aside, I got this idea for this video because I've done a lot of Bob Ross video using acrylic and stuff and this time I want to do it with charcoal. Why charcoal? Two days ago I was just like, oh I haven't drawn with charcoal in so long. I used to do that in high school and I was like, oh, what if I did a whole Bob Ross doing charcoal? So yeah, that's what this video is about. <laughs> Alright, before we get started, I just wanted to do the unboxing here so... Let's just do that. So those are the... That doesn't feel like chocolate to me. Let me get a paper. Alright, prepare to be blinded because I'm gonna put white paper with the sun in it. Ta -da! Oh, actually it wasn't that bad. I hope these lines doesn't bother you. It's because the window has this line and I cannot get rid of them. But I also like the feeling of having sunlight in some part of my video. So let me know if you hate it. But anyway, I'm gonna try this one. I don't know what it says. Medium moyen. Oh. Maybe I should bring you closer. So, my stand is my hand by the way, but excuse the movement but this is how it feels and how you test it is actually how you blend it i'm just gonna blend with my finger seems like uh, it blends a little bit but not really and then this one Woohoo! i like this so this one feels like very light you hear that? Like it can break so easily. I don't want to break it. I hate it. But usually how I do it. All right, let's bring you closer again. I would just eye a little bit, and sometimes if it breaks, I'll just use. I'll just probably do like something like this. Well, oh there you go. The paper is moving. Ah, oh, I am so bad at explaining, but hopefully you guys can still understand. And then this one should smudge way more. There you go. Yep. So that's how you can create shading. I sometimes, yeah, you could use your finger, but they have this thing called tortellini. Tortillas. Tortellini. I don't know how it's called, but here it is. This is how it looks like, and you can create more details while creating the shading. I'm not gonna spend more money on this thing, so I'm just gonna use like a rolled up tissue paper to create that. And that is called woodless. Oh, I like how this one feels. How does this work? Oh, okay. So that works kind of the same thing as this one. And it's just like, it's not pointy. Can I do it like this? It's like a lot of work though. I guess if I wanted to create like more details, I could do like thin lines. And for the last three pencil, it was the soft, medium, and hard. And I didn't have a lot to say about them. It was just like, once I start drawing, I'll just have it feel what I need and go off of that. All right, so I first started by doing like an outline to figure out where to place everything because I wouldn't be able to do it the Bob Ross way because he stopped painting the whole sky first and then moves on to the mountain and goes down. But since I work, I'm working with charcoal and pencils, I had to figure out where to place everything. So that's basically what I was doing here. And it was actually really nice to hold the pen to be able to do the outlines. But then when I moved on to shading the sky i decided to just use the charcoal stick because that's what blended the most and i started by just using my fingers to blend it and i went to go grab toilet paper to just make it appear more lighter and it was kind of a struggle to do the clouds but then i went back and took my eraser and then tried to make the shape with it
After that, I just went straight to the trees and I knew that I didn't want to shade it as much just to keep the details. So I just used a woodless pen to do it and it was actually really nice to hold it. And then I finally moved on to doing the mountains, which is my favorite part. It was just like a lot of shades and light happening. So yeah, I tried my best to make it look realistic. And as you can see, I was using, I tried twisting the toilet paper so it becomes like a nice little tip to be able to blend it. And then I realized oh, I could use an ear swap because <laughs> I was kind of struggling with it. So I just grabbed an ear swap and did it and it did the same job. And if you want to do like really small details, then you could try to roll up the toilet paper to make it pointy. But like I was not going for like too much detail work. So even if the ear swab was rounded, it still did a job. And after some more shading, I kept going back and forth with the pencil and the charcoal stick just to give it some shading, but also leave some rough texture of the mountain. And I was having a lot of fun doing it. And after adding some details in the trees, I still felt like the clouds were missing some details. So I just took the ear swab that already had some of the charcoals in it and just like smudged it around in the bottom to create the shadows. And I like how it turned out. I think the crowd, crowd, the cloud looked pretty great after it. I was kind of worried when I was doing the leg, but after I added the shadows of the trees and I just used the um, ear swap to just blend all the colors, I think it turned out pretty decent. I just used my eraser to create the white lines that I usually do to create the ripples on water and make it look more real like that. And of course my battery had to die halfway through and I didn't realize until later, but it's okay. I was basically just using my hand to smooch the darker part and then just keep adding more and more layers using the pencil. And after a while it kind of all looked the same when I was using the ear swab, so I had to go back making it darker for the little trail that I was adding and then lighten everything else by using the eraser. Oh yeah, so I added little branches even though it was not in the painting but I just wanted to add my little touch and make it look like there was some bushes going on there and branches was coming out of it but yeah I like how it all turned out together. actually looking at this in the, my camera and I don't think it looks that bad I like like I like the mountains a lot and I kind of tried doing the reflection the trees eh, even that eh. but everything put together it's better than I thought it's a shame they say we couldn't have made her all this way all right so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you thought about it i know it was another different type of video compared to painting but i still hope that you guys enjoy it and make sure to subscribe and click the bell notification and if not i will see you in the next video Allez, bye